influences that are impacting this planet as she moves towards the path of ascension at this time. The Schumann resonance, which is the vibratory frequency of the earth, which is caused by the speed and rotation of the earth, increased almost to a maximum last Friday. The effect of that vibratory increase on the human form causes all things of an emotional nature to come to the surface. It can indeed make you feel like you're going to break. And the underlying thing is whatever emotion is most prevalent within your system. From our perspective, fear is at the base of all emotions. And we will go into explaining what fear is in a moment. But whether you respond in grief, sadness, or whether you respond in anger and frustration, or whether it is just simply stark fear without knowing anything else, all of it has to do with the energies that are pushing on changes within the planet. Basically, you are afraid that you are going to be annihilated, that you would no longer exist. Someone else might have felt that they were going to be annihilated and be angry because they felt like nobody was seeing how valuable they are to the work they came here to do. Someone else might have been feeling this fear of annihilation and have it manifest as sadness, so they felt a great sadness at not being able to change what's happening. So there are different variations in the ways that it could manifest. When you can feel and are sensitive enough to feel the energies coming into earth that are pushing all of life to make a change, not just humans, all of life, things that are sparking weather changes, cosmic rays that are coming in, and the very spin of the planet itself. That causes a deep internal fear of annihilation. I'm not going to exist. What does that do to me? Because your culture has trained you and taught you that to exist, you must have this physical body, and that when you die, you have something else, but it's not the same. Your consciousness lives on forever. Your consciousness is who you are, but you as a culture have connected yourself with feeling that you must have the body and the mind, your oh-so and very important thoughts, so you think. All those things, if they threaten to go away, you feel a sense of death or annihilation. The planet spinning at a higher frequency and vibratory rate does indeed threaten life on this planet. And you're picking up on that and feeling it. It is possible that life is about to go through a transition so that your consciousness takes on a different form and you are no longer in the bodies that you are accustomed to. That is a very big step that is happening to the planet. We speak of the cosmic pop, but we've also spoken of cosmic pops telling you this is not one event or one big shift, but it is a series of shifts and events that are leading towards your consciousness taking on another form, moving into light body and then rainbow body form, being able to shapeshift, being able to move from one place to the other. All of these things are part of what's going on. You're simply feeling it. The experience of being human is based upon being separate from source. There's a challenge there that was put into place when the dark forces began to experience and experiment with what's happening on Earth. Earth was intended to be a cosmic playground where you could come and learn about different aspects of everything that is. Therefore, each person took on a different aspect of who they are and were meant to share it to understand more fully and deeply who one another is and the nature of all reality. That was the way it was intended to be, a joyful experience, an experience where you would take on and understand studying a particular aspect of yourself, someone else would take on and understand another aspect of themselves, and these aspects would incorporate both a universal or cosmic energy understanding and an understanding of how you experience life in this playground, which is your earth energy. That's the way it was meant to be. However, some dark forces decided to intervene and interfere with the experiment. 
When this happened, they placed the idea that you are separate from source. You were never separate from source, but you were in a field where you were not as aware that you were part of source because your job, your responsibility, was intended to be to focus on different aspects of everything that exists. That means you were individuated to explore more deeply these different aspects. So your focus of attention was more upon those individual explorations than on the way you were before you entered this cosmic playground of Earth. Before, you knew everything about everybody and you were definitely connected with Source and you could do whatever you wanted. But the idea was to take it to a deeper level and then reunify and bring it back to join as you moved back into Source energy, which you thought or believed you were not as close and connected to at the time. The dark forces took that idea and said, let's make them feel completely separated. And they instituted something called fear. And fear is basically feeling like you are completely separated and annihilated from source, making you dependent upon your mind, your physical body, your five senses, and things that you can actually realize here in the third dimension. So each of you has carried fear as a part of who you are ever since the dark began to interfere with the experiment. The experiment is badly gone awry, and we are working so hard now to help each of you regain your own power so that you can recognize and understand that you have the power through working through this fear, from reconnecting the source, from abandoning what you believe to be true, or even what you know, because what you know is only part of the whole truth. No matter how elevated and bright you may be, no matter how much work you may have done, here on earth you are still caught in the collective prison and the trap of not being able to fully realize the connection you had completely to one another and to source. So we're trying to help you break through that by helping you clear the shadows, clear the traumas, and be able to recognize when you have these waves of fear or these waves of anger or these waves of sadness or whatever way this underlying current manifests in you particularly, what we're trying to do is to help you understand that this is part of breaking free of the prison that this experimental playground has become. Helping you to be able to break free in a series of cosmic pops of awareness where you no longer are attached to the physical form, where you no longer are attached to the mental ideas that you cherish and hold on to saying, I know this is the truth, to let them go and to surrender into a place of allowing your heart and your intuition to lead you, knowing that you are going into the void. You are stepping completely into the unknown and doing that with trust being able to understand and completely assimilate the idea that you are not your body, nor are you your mind. You are your consciousness, and your consciousness lives in your heart, and your consciousness is aligned with your natural feeling state, which is love, joy, trust, compassion, kindness, humility, or humbleness, being able to do things with out having to predict or expect the outcome because you trust. All of these things are your consciousness when you remember and are keenly aware that you are connected to source, you are connected to everything, and everything is flowing and unfolding in a way for more and more freedom and more and more of your abilities to be manifest and shown so that you fulfill what you thought you came here to do. When you came to this planet, you have been stuck as a species in a series of karmic patterns causing you to come back in each parallel life that you experience multidimensionally over and over again, all at the same time, but from your perspective, past to present. All of these are an illusion because you're caught in this trap, this planetary prison. And because you are caught in this planetary prison, you believe that you have to do this or you have to do that. 
And when you die out of this body, you have been known to make choices based on what you thought. Well, I think I made bad mistakes, so I have to go back and do it again. No, you don't have to go back and do it again. No, you don't have to enter another dimension and do it differently. That's why we have been telling each of you to learn to see that you are here to integrate all aspects of yourself. For when you integrate everything, that's when you're able to move into the ascension process because you accept that through all of this integration, you are consciousness. You are not your physical form. And through consciousness, you can do as we do and shapeshift your energy into any form you choose. This is also why we have been telling humanity that you do not need to experience karma. Karma is experienced in each and every moment with each choice that you make. So choose to make choices from the highest good of all. That way, no karma is committed. That way, whenever a human dies, that death does not bring the old beliefs of and the old thoughts of, oh, in my life review, I see I did this wrong and I did that wrong, so I have to go back and do it differently. When you make every choice from a place of higher vibratory heart-based energy and you do the best you can from your learning experiences and from considering the highest good of all, no karma is created. Therefore, instead of being on the path to death, you're on the path to ascension. That helps you understand that you cannot be annihilated, that separation is only an illusion, that there is absolutely no way that this separation can be anything other than an illusion causing you pain. And when you begin to truly understand that, your third dimensional form joins in all of your multidimensional forms also. Everything that you have thought, everything you have experienced, all of the traumas you have cleared, all of the gifts you have joined together, all of the essences of varying parts of you as consciousness come together in one integrated package. And at that point, you move closer and closer to ascension. But to ascend, you must have peace in your consciousness and in your heart. That means that you have to conquer these emotions that have been set in place by the dark trying to make you believe that you are not cared for, that the universe is not on your side, that no one is helping you, that no one will do anything from the external to help you see what you need to do next. Instead, you begin to let go and surrender into deeper and deeper trust, and as the experience progresses, you gain more and more trust, more and more peace, more and more calm, more and more compassion and deeper and greater unconditional love for yourself and for everything in the universe. In doing that, the trade is that you are surrendering or letting go fear in all forms, whether it is manifest as fear itself, whether it is manifest as frustration or anger, or whether it is manifest as sorrow or grief. This is the pattern to ascension. And this is what you are experiencing now. You're experiencing more intensely because the earth is vibrating at a higher frequency, as noted by the Schumann resonance, meaning that you cannot, we repeat, you cannot maintain your life force and continue to live in your third dimensional form in a lower frequency because the earth itself is moving into a higher frequency. So the old conditioning automatically takes you back to the pattern of fear, of I am going to be annihilated. Nobody is helping me. The universe doesn't care. That's what's happening. So, we've given you some guideline. We have been gathering with the Pleiadian Elders Council recently, since Friday, to ask more in-depth questions to help humans explain and understand exactly what they are experiencing. Because we understand from the human perspective this is not acceptable, nor is it understandable. So we want to put it in terms where it explains how it got to this point, what the illusion is, and what you must do to move beyond it. 
we have been meeting with our own elders who have been turning very focused attention on being able to aid and assist those who are working with the light. The collective does not have their attention, even though you are part of the collective. Those who are working with the light and who are suffering specifically need the intense answers, need the understanding, need to know that they are being assisted, need to know that what's happening to them is not a targeted action for them in particular. They need to know, all of you need to know, that it is also not just something that cannot be avoided, but rather it is something to be embraced. Because as unpleasant as it is, you are the chrysalis that is opening and cracking open into the butterfly. You are approaching the point of being able to transition into a different form. And the only way to approach that successfully and with ease and flow and grace is through a state of calm and peace in your hearts. We suggest that you ask for grace as you go through the process. Mother Mary brings grace to all who ask for grace. So we suggest each of you, whenever you are suffering, ask for grace and say, I trust and I am releasing my fear and I ask for grace to help me move through this process. It is not an easy process. In fact, it is the most challenging process the human species has ever undergone, including the collapse of Atlantis and other civilizations which have disappeared. Your civilization is disappearing, dear ones. We want you to know that. But that is a good thing, because the birth that is coming out of that is the civilization of the new humans who will be in an ascended form, going with the earth in the form of light, being able to shapeshift into whatever form you need to be without attachment to the old form, without attachment to the mental concepts. And we have never said this before. But transition is not only about letting go of the physical and your senses. It is also about letting go of the mental and what you know from mental knowledge you have accumulated, all of this and many other lives, or what you know from other aspects mentally. This transitional process requires you to let go of that too because even the most brilliant person on earth is limited in what they know because you are contained within a prison system at the moment. The planet is not the cosmic playground of exploration. The planet is a place where you feel stuck and trapped and until you learn to find peace and be able to take in the joy that can be found here, by being here in a way that you understand, yes, I'm here, and I'm also somewhere else. When you do that, then you can look around and take in the beauty that exists, the good things that exist, and you make a bigger difference with the light that you carry. But for now, we want you not to feel that you are trapped, and that requires surrendering your attachment to the illusion that you must have your mental knowledge and your physical form to maintain yourself. Your consciousness extends much beyond that. You are your consciousness. And this is why for so long we have told you, be love, be light. That's all you need to do. Clear the pain, clear the trauma, extend compassion, be grateful every time you can. Find a way to do all of this and ask for grace within the process. It's a challenging year of great transition. And this is the way for you to more peacefully and with more ease and flow enter into the transition, no matter what choices you make in 3D. The larger choices are what you are making in this transition so that you can join us in multidimensional form. Many have been programmed to think they can only turn towards the light. They want to take the white light pill and only see the light. Therefore, they become ostriches, sticking their head in the sand. That is why some people refuse to talk about the dark. Some people refuse to talk about it because of this program that they have subscribed to. However, those who have a higher consciousness understand that dark is part of the light and you cannot ignore it.
You have to go into the shadows to shine the light into that darkness to make the changes that are required and to regain your ability to manifest things for the highest good of all. That means you must clear traumas. That means you must look at aspects of things that are painful that you do not like. That means that the dark does exist and is requiring and requesting you to work with it, to clear it, to help it return to its portion of being in the light in the way it was intended to be, like the dark of the night and a cycle between day and night in your earthly sky. The dark in and of itself is not bad. However, the dark when poisoned and receiving toxicity, as it did by those who chose to work with it to harm this experiment on earth, that's a different element of dark. That is toxic dark. And perhaps we should start distinguishing when we say the dark interfered and intervened with the plan. We should say those who wish to change and control the plan put toxicity into the dark. And so now we refer to the dark as a toxic dark. Remember, the dark is part of the light, but the dark is never intended to be sick. And right now it is very, very sick with toxins. That's what's keeping you stuck. And that's why some people only turn towards the light. They want that dark part to be gone, eradicated. They only want to see the good. But they cannot do that without staring intently into the dark with love and with their own light, saying, I see you. I know who you are. And I'm going to help you remove these toxins and come back home with me. We want everyone who listens to this, to understand their plight, to broaden their perspective, to move into the Pleiadian or interstellar or angelic perspective where we can see that you are caught in an illusion. And while some of you may know and recognize that this is an illusion, you do not understand what needs to be done to move beyond the illusion. What we said about being able to stare into the darkness and shine your love and have the courage to say, I see you and I know that you are part of the light too and I'm going to send my light in so that you can come home. That is important for each and every person to do. And in this transition that is occurring, this will find you in places of feeling more peace within yourself more courage within yourself, and more fulfillment that you're actually doing what you came here to do. And as you do that, you will be closer and closer to making the ascension process into your rainbow body form. Know that what is happening is that the lower vibratory energies cannot last. They cannot stay in that pattern. And so they come up to purify and detoxify. And that means that you have to look at it as saying, wow, I'm going through a huge purge. I feel it most intensely on my emotional level. And stop with the mental stuff. Just stop right there. Because the mental needs to be purged too. It doesn't matter what you know. What matters is what you feel. It doesn't matter that you're suffering. Well, it does matter. We care deeply that you're suffering. But what we mean is, that's part of the illusion. Focus upon your natural feeling state, saying, please give me grace to move through this. Ask for grace, and then focus upon, thank you for the grace, and thank you for whatever you can find to be grateful for. A supportive person in your life, a beautiful flower, an animal that you see that you love. Doesn't matter. Find something to be grateful for, and continue asking for grace. That takes your mind away from those set mental patterns about what am I thinking? When you continue to hold on to the thinking as you are feeling all of your suffering, it makes it worse. And it makes you dive more into the feelings of being trapped in the illusion and that no one is helping you and that you can't survive. It's more of the annihilation and it's more of the aloneness. The goal, the idea, this is what our elders tell us. The goal and the idea is to stop the mind completely. To surrender into asking for grace, 
just breathe in and breathe out and say, give me grace, give me grace, give me grace. And then when you find yourself calming down, find something to be grateful for and say, thank you for this, thank you for that. Do this over and over every time the emotions come up. But the key thing is to let go of the mental patterns that are connected to it. For that's what you're leaving. When you move into the other form, your rainbow body form, you will retain your conscious wisdom and your awareness and everything that you know that is true. You will leave all the things that you have gathered in third dimensional reality that you hold to be true in your mental state. Those will drop away from you because they no longer fit. They were intended for your survival here in this plane. They will not fit when you're entering into cosmic awareness through ascension. Let go of what you think. Let go of your suffering in a way that you say, I surrender to this and I ask for grace to move me past it. And I trust that I can be guided to make the right decision in this now moment, whatever may be at stake. Thank you for giving us the opportunity to explain our new understandings to you and to share them with the world. And we trust that as each of you all over the planet is beginning to align with this deeper and wiser understanding, you will find less suffering and more expansiveness in moving towards your ascension process and letting go of what you think you are, who you think you are, and moving into who you truly are that you may not have yet even discovered, even though you remember bits and pieces of it. And with that, we will say, we love you.